All right, guys. Uh, thanks for taking a minute just to watch this video. It should be pretty quick. I just want to take a couple of minutes. Um, first, let me apologize. There's two different ways to do the motion maps. One is using the number line as time, which is what I showed you in class. And then when I went to talk to Mr. Crawford, we discussed a little bit, and we decided that um, it would actually be better if we taught you by using the number line as the position or distance, which unfortunately means that uh, you need to get used to the other possible method of, of doing it. So let me just give you a couple of examples of how to do the, the motion maps using position as your reference frame rather than using time as the reference frame. Okay, I'm going to be looking at the examples from the worksheet from class. I'm going to do example one and the practice number one, and uh, if it's quick enough, I'll do practice number two as well, just so that you have a couple of different examples. Okay, so let's look at example number one. Um, in this one, we start with a displacement of five. It goes up and uh, up to 15 at time two, and then it stays steady and then goes down. And so let's start at five, and that's going to be at zero seconds. Right, and so at zero seconds I'm at five, and then at one second I'm up at ten. Right, so I'm just I'm I'm going to label it with the time, and then the point will actually be on the actual position. Now the next question that uh, if we were in class out here is well what about at three seconds? Because I'm at the same position, right? Well you just put the point down below, or you can put it up above. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go ahead and put it below. Four seconds again, I'm at 15, right? I'm at the same position. Wait, wait, wait. And then at five, all of a sudden I've gone all the way back down to zero. And so I'm going to label each of those points with the time. Okay, now when I do the velocity, let me change to a different color here. When I do the velocity, it's going to be similar. It's going to be based off of the same time frames that I used up here above. But now I'm going to be showing the velocity vectors that we talked about in class. And so at time zero, I am going five meters per second, right? And so at zero, I've got five meters a second. So we'll make that be five meters per second. And then at one second, I'm traveling five meters per second still. So again, five meters per second. And then at two seconds, that's when I've stopped. And so I'll just have a point for two seconds, point for three seconds. At four seconds, that's when I start moving again. And I'm going to go back the other direction now, right? Except uh, it's 15. And so it's actually going to be three times as long. One, two, maybe three. OK, so now I've got negative 15 meters per second. And that's it for the motion map, right? We've got the example of the distance up here. You can see how the you can see the displacement that these two displacements are the same, and then this last displacement is a lot longer, right? And so that means that not only is it a longer displacement, but since it's the same time period, one second, it also means that I must be traveling at a higher magnitude velocity in the opposite direction, obviously. Okay, let's look at practice number one from your worksheet. OK, I'll do that right here. So let's get back to our red pen, which we'll use for our position. And so our displacement, we started at 20. So that'll be 0 seconds. And then at 1 second, I'm still there. So we'll put 1 second right there. And then at 2 seconds, I'm at a little bit more than 16. So we'll put that at about 16 and 2 thirds. So that's 2 seconds. And then at 3 seconds, looking at my graph, I'm at 13 and a third, so somewhere around there. It looks like my points are getting lower and lower, but that's all right. So going along 3 seconds, 4 seconds, I'm right at 10. So we'll put 4 seconds right there. And then at the very end, 5 seconds, I've gone all the way back to position 0. Right? OK, so there's the position motion map. And then we'll put the velocity on the same one. OK. Again, I'm going to be basing it off of the time frames that I set up here, but my basis is going to be the position here. So at 0, I'm not moving, and so I'm going to be stationary. At 1, I am moving at negative 3.3 meters a second. So we'll just make a little vector there, negative 3.3 meters per second. We'll go to 2 seconds. At 2 seconds, looking at my graph, I'm still going 
negative 3.3 .3 meters per second. At 3 seconds, I'm still going negative 3.3, .3, right? And then at 4 seconds, I've, I'm going to go a faster or higher magnitude velocity. So we're going to go 10, still negative, negative 10 meters per second. Okay. Now we don't know exactly what happens after 5, but um, this is what it is. I'm stopped, I'm going slow, I'm going slow, I'm going slow, and all of a sudden I have a larger vector, I'm going faster. Okay. Speed is higher, velocity is a greater magnitude. Okay. Now, uh, that was pretty quick, so let me do one more example. I'll do the motion map for practice number two down here at the bottom. Okay, so let's look at this example right here. This one, we're starting at negative 10. So negative 10 is going to be zero seconds. And then I move up to zero, which will be one second. And then at two seconds, I've gone all the way up to 10. Right, so two seconds. And then I've gone up to, let's see, at 3 seconds, I've stayed the same, right? So I'm still at 10, so 3 seconds. And then I'll go to 4, which I've been going backwards now. So I'll now be at 5, so that's 4 seconds. And then back to 0 at 5 seconds. Okay, so that's the position for the velocity at 0 seconds. You can see on our velocity graph, at 0 seconds, then my velocity is 10. So we'll just say this far is 10. So 10 meters per second. At 1 second, I'm still going 10. So 10 meters per second. At 2 seconds, that's when I've stopped. At 3 seconds, I'm going half as fast, so 5 meters per second negative, right? And then at 4, so starting from where 4 is, I'm going negative 5 meters per second. Okay? And again, I can see the velocity vectors. They're pretty big. I've stopped, and then I start going in the other direction. Since the vectors are half as big, I'm traveling half as fast. Okay? I hope this has clarified it and that uh, this makes sense uh, at least as much, if not more, than what we did in class today. So good luck, and I hope that you're able to do your homework, and I will see you on Friday.